Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albano Rano Beer Review. Today of the Rano, we're looking at a beer that was sent to me by Dan from BoozeReviews.ca out in Alberta. Thank you very much, Dan. This is from Whistler Brewing Company. This is Whistler Brewing Company's Winter Dunkel, and it's 5% alcohol by volume. Um, Whistler is a brewery that we were able to get a couple beers from here, and we have one of their mix packs with the... Uh, the honey bear lager and stuff, and they're pretty solid beers. They started coming here at the uh, the Vancouver Olympics, around the Vancouver Olympics. They started coming to uh, to Ontario, and they've never been horrible beers. They've just never blown me away. But I mean, that's that's okay. I mean, you have you have over forty one, you get close to forty one hundred beers, and it's it's hard to have a fuck off really. I found one of the old bottle brushes, and you can see, one side's nice and clean, <laughs> no watermarks, and the other side, not so much, nice bit of watermarks, fading real quickly though, the watermarks, that is, um, I, I really should get a water softener in this house, I love the head on this though, beautiful head, that sort of mocha color, beautiful snap crackle, poop. I hear, I hear a lot of them. Uh, looks good. Smell. Oh my god. Now see, the Dunkel has chocolate oranges on the front. It does. There's chocolate oranges all over the front. This is 5% alcohol, like I said. Uh, does this have a ingredients list? Doesn't. Why would it, right? Why would it? It says, uh, the gravity, it says what type of hops are in it. Why would you have the type of hops, but not an actual ingredients list? That's, uh... Intriguing. I can't really make them out because this purple on black doesn't really work for my eyes, but the, the white on black work. The only one I can make out is Challenger and, and uh, Willamette. There's one other, though. Looks like there's a third. But anyway, yeah, there's a chocolate and orange on the front. And this smells like a Terry's chocolate orange. It literally smells like a Terry's chocolate orange. The last time I had a Terry's chocolate orange, my buddy broke it on my head. He just came running up. He's like, hey, Chad, dish! And then he handed me it. But it smells just like it. At least out of the glass. Out of the bottle, the chocolate smells more natural. It has that uh, slightly, slightly, slightly bitter scent. But the orange smells more like, say, Fanta. Fanta! Out of the bottle. Out of the glass. Full on Terry's chocolate orange. Let's try it. Cheers. Light to medium body. Excuse me. There is carbonation. Burps up fairly uh, quickly. It's, uh... It's intriguing. It's basically a liquid chocolate orange. It's a liquid chocolate orange with a little bit of earthiness and a little bit of roastiness to remind you that you're drinking beer. But that's about it. There's a little bit of roastiness that sits on the sides of the tongue, a little bit of English earthiness that sits at the back from the from the Challenger, and that's it. Other than that, it's chocolate orange in liquid form. I fucking like this. I like this a lot. This Winter Dunkel is something that I could put back a whole shitload of. I don't know what this costs for him in uh, Alberta. I'm going to assume a lot because Alberta is... Uh, is Alberta's the home of of getting whatever beer in the world you want for the most part, but at the same time it's also the home of spending more money per bottle of anything special, especially anything out of side of Alberta, than any other province really. So I'm gonna guess this was expensive, but if this was uh it's a bomber, six fifty. If this was anything in the uh six to seven fifty range, I could probably buy a lot of these and enjoy myself quite a bit.
Like, that's a bomber. And it's gone now. It's good. Out of ten? Oh, excuse me. Out of ten? Hmm. I want to give it a nine, but I'll probably give it an eight seven five. If you up the chocolate a little bit on this, up the orange a little bit on this, and up to the alcohol on this, I think this would be just something that's world class. At 5% alcohol, it's very, very easy drinking, but then at the same time, you're paying bomber prices on it. It's probably not the cheapest thing. So here's how I'll do this. Here's how I'll do this. When this video goes up, Dan will watch it. He'll tell me. I'm going to give it an 875 as of right now, just on my own assumptions on the price of the bottle. If he could get this for anywhere between four and six dollars. If this was between four and six dollars, I'll give it a nine. If it's anything above six dollars, it's an eight seven five. That's how I'm putting it. Thank you guys. Bye.